my one million dollar challenge. I have a sponsored one million dollar challenge for anyone from around the world who can beat, who can show that the afterlife evidence is not valid. Here is this. Look at this very, very carefully to those potential applicants who want to apply for the one million dollar challenge. There it is. Now, I have been investigating the afterlife for 20 years using scientific method. And I've put 22 different areas of afterlife evidence on my website. And to date, eight years later, nobody, no one, no scientist, no physicist, no biologist, no skeptical debunker, has been able to show why the evidence is not valid. Now, the evidence I have is objective, repeatable, and, and empirical. Right? And in professional debates, when evidence is not uh, rebutted, then it remains valid. Translated, this means there is an afterlife, because the motion is that there is an afterlife. Now, my website and my challenge has been given a lot of publicity over the uh, last eight years. It's gone over to at least 150 countries around the world. And it's gone over to the United States with uh, Larry King live and Sylvia Brown uh, discussing it and uh, Time Warner and different radio stations. And it's gone to the UK, Europe, Asia, even in Australia, and even in Russia. So much so, I have this book in Russia being sold in Russian bookshops today about the evidence for the afterlife. And if you watch the bottom of this uh, cover page very carefully, you can see one million dollars being offered to Russian scientists and the debunkers and the empiricists, anyone who could show that the afterlife evidence I have is not valid. That, so far, has not been done. Now, the conditions for the applicant to have a look at will be on my website, and I'll give you the URL of my website at the end of this uh, clip. Incidentally, this is my uh, book, The Evidence for the Afterlife. A lawyer presents the, uh, the case for the afterlife. Right? You can access this book on my website, at no cost to you. Free. No charge. Right. Now, I had to add three other conditions to the standard conditions. This is because I'm dealing with a lot of uh, applicants and uh, to save time and money and effort, I had to include the first one is that the applicant has to know something about scientific method. This is because the, the evidence is highly technical. Secondly, the applicant has to know something about the admissibility of evidence, the differences between objective evidence, subjective evidence, and anecdotal evidence. Thirdly, the applicant has been identified as a true investigator of these kinds of uh, matters in the afterlife evidence. I receive thousands of emails and have received thousands of emails over the, the last eight years. Nearly all of them support the uh, afterlife investigations and research I do. But of course, there are a few uh, skeptics. But skeptics come in the open minded and closed minded. The open minded skeptics, I I'm an open minded skeptic. But these open minded skeptics, at least, they investigate. And nearly all of them, once they investigate all the evidence, they accept the evidence and they join us. And then you have the closed-minded skeptics, those who will not investigate the uh, evidence for the afterlife. They instead <laughs> investigate things like Bigfoot doesn't exist or orbs don't exist and so on. But that's okay. In time, guaranteed, 
Sooner or later, they will have no choice but to accept the evidence for the afterlife. And remember what I said earlier. Any evidence which has not been rebutted remains valid. Translated, there is an afterlife. Oh, I mustn't forget the, the skeptical dummies. <clears throat> These are the ones who experience enormous frustrations as not being able to rebut the evidence. So, because they're not either not very bright or, or they not, don't know what to do, what do they do in their sheer frustration? They try to throw mud at their source of frustration and anxiety. Some even try to deface websites. Right? Others even use fifth-rate comical one-liners to try to be funny, but of course they're not, but they're not important. But <clears throat> if you have the motivation, if you have the courage, if you have the stomach for this one million dollar challenge, then go ahead, make my day. This is Victor Zanet. But before you go, let me remind you, I have other YouTubes for you. These YouTubes are about my afterlife evidence. Until next time, this is Victor Zanet.